last few days could easily have been quite challenging uh, ketogenically. Uh, Travelling in Malaysia with a group of friends playing golf um, is perhaps not the first choice uh, when you're on a ketogenic diet, but choosing carefully uh, the op- from the options available, making sure to have ketogenic snacks available, uh, made it actually quite easy. So I took along um, a good amount of macadamia nuts, um, and I was having those on the golf course. I made sure to have butter in my coffee whenever I could, and then when in restaurants, I simply avoided any carbs with a meal. Uh, just protein and vegetables. Olive oil I struggled to find, but um, given I'd had plenty of fat already, it wasn't really a problem. Uh, and the advantage of on the second day uh, golf course was that we had to walk. Buggies weren't allowed on the course, so uh, a lot of walking, um, and I felt well and truly in ketosis by the end of uh, day two, and, and really fully energised. Um, I did have a few glasses of red wine, um, but nothing that took me out of ketosis for too long and then last night we were out at friends with dinner and again I I managed to keep my wine consumption relatively modest I did turn down a chocolate souffle um, and the roast potatoes but I was able to substitute raspberries and cream um, for a dessert and uh, again having made sure that I'd up my fat content earlier in the day uh, olive oil was available at dinner last night so that was very easy Um, I didn't really find it any trouble at all making sure that I had the right options available. So I think a little bit of preparation on snacks and when traveling, eating in restaurants, just really avoid um, the carbs and and stick to protein, vegetables and add sufficient fat either earlier in the day or with the meal if you can to uh, keep you in, uh, in ketosis.